This is a ray diagram many of you might have seen in your 12th class in the ray optics chapter in which the object behind an objective lens throws the first image as real inverted larger in size which is behind the focal length of the eyepiece lens therefore the image forming from this first image is virtual now and erect and larger than the real first image and this is the basis of microscopy in which a small tiny object is used to form a large virtual and erect image using a two lens system this is the microscope you might have seen in your laboratory we all have been terrorized by this hematozylin eosin histology section a brand new compound microscope looks like this when unpacked straight out of the box although i know that you would prefer a microscope looking somewhat like this connected to a laptop or somewhat like this connected to an even more advanced smartphone the first compound microscope was invented in the 1600s by anthony von leeuwenhoek of the netherlands as you can see clearly he was very fond of looking at living objects which he named animal cules Let's have a closer look at what he held in his hands which looks very different from the compound microscope we have today. These are some of the cells he saw back then which are now classified into WBCs, RBCs, sperm cells, bacteria and yeast. Present day compound microscopes can be classified into two parts, the mechanical and the optical. With the mechanical consisting of base, pillars, inclination joint, curved arm body tube draw tube course adjustment fine adjustment stage which may be fixed or mechanical revolving nose piece and the optical parts consisting of light source diaphragm condenser objective lens and eyepiece lens let us now have a closer look at a label diagram of the compound microscope in which we have the ocular lens or the eyepiece on top below which is the body tube and then there is the revolving rotating nose piece on which are attached the objective lenses beneath this is the fixed stage which has the stage clips and the mechanical stage below this is the condenser along with the iris diaphragm and then comes the light source or illuminator the other parts are the arm which is c shaped on which are the course adjustment knobs and the fine adjustment knobs and finally we have the base at the bottom supporting the entire microscope and keeping it stable and beneath which you must keep your dominant hand the other non dominant hand holding the c arm to hold the compound microscope like a laptop ensuring its safety and your safety from compensating the college this is a picture to now show you how to hold a microscope properly as has already been explained to you earlier let's start with the ocular lens or the eyepiece this is how ocular lenses or eyepieces look like coming in various powers of 5 10 20 16 and 25x moving on to the nose piece which holds the objective lenses this is how the nose piece looks like and the objective lenses attached to it These objective lenses are of majorly three powers 10 40 and 100x but may also have other powers like 60 and 20x it is important to be able to identify these lenses based on the lines drawn on them using various colors such as red for 4x yellow for 10x blue for 40x and white for 100x oil immersion Let us go back to our original diagram of the microscope on which we will see the stage. This is the stage which is fixed and has stage clips on top of it. And this is the stage removed from the microscope which has the mechanical stage and this is how the mechanical stage looks like. With its clips and the adjustment knobs to change the position of the slide in two dimensions. Below the stage is located the condenser along with the iris diaphragm. The Abbe type condenser is a two lens system in which the light is condensed onto the specimen on the stage and in doing so ensures adequate illumination for our viewing. 
A detached condenser and iris diaphragm system looks like this with a lever to change the illumination via the iris diaphragm and an adjustment knob to change the height of the condenser which must be lowest for the 10x objective lens, mid position for the 40x lens and the highest position for the oil immersion lens. Here the iris diaphragm is completely open while in another view from below the iris diaphragm is completely closed. A sketch of the microscope when simplified looks somewhat like this. With the light passing from the light source via the condenser onto the specimen, then the objective lens and ocular lens 2 lens system forms the final image for the eye to view. We are now going to go ahead and look at different representations of the compound microscope and try to revise the various parts. Let's have a look at a color-coded diagram of the microscope in which the eyepiece is green in color and below that is the body tube which is blue. This is above the purple colored objective lenses of various powers held in place by the rotating nose piece colored yellow. The C arm is orange in color and holds in its mid portion the red colored stage above which are the stage clips and below which can be seen the condenser and the iris diaphragm system colored pink. The mirror combination with the plane and the concave mirror right below is black in colored resting on the base that is green colored. A final revision of the compound microscope. We can see the eyepiece on top connected to the body tube connected to the nose piece which is revolving or rotating which has the various power lenses attached beneath it and this nose piece is attached to the c-shaped arm holding the coarse and fine adjustment which is connected to the base on top of which is the light source above which is the iris diaphragm condenser combination which is below the stage and the stage clips in the future, some dental students might end up using a microscope that looks somewhat like this. And the medical students among you might end up in a neurosurgical OT using a loop, which is also a microscope like this. If you enjoyed this video and were able to learn the basics from it adequately, do subscribe, like this channel, and if you want, may also comment in the section below. I look forward to your feedback so that I can make necessary changes in order for mutual benefit. Thank you so much.